Good morning! Welcome to SMART with me, Miss Molly. No, no, I'm Miss Molly. That's incorrect. I'm Miss Molly. No, you're a perfectionist fraud. I am the real Miss Molly. Well, hello, everyone. Have you ever been in love with an object? So in love that you just wanted more, more, more of that object? Of course, because diamonds are a girl's best friend. Perhaps a collection of the same object in different colors, or a replica of an object. What's a replica? A replica is an exact copy of an object. The technique of casting can help you do just that. You can make a replica or multiples of any object. Say you've got one bracelet you really like. Make 12 using the casting process, which is often used to make jewelry. Casting makes it easier to copy objects and get their hard to reach details. Another example, think of the way water is used to make ice cubes. The water is the liquid material, the tray is the mold, and the final cast object are the ice cubes. And wunderbar, you've got yourself not one, but a tray of ice cubes. These are the materials you'll need for today's lesson. Most of them can be found in your home. We've got plaster of Paris, insulation foam, water, two clear buckets, your ventilation mask, a paper cup, pliers, soft clay, a wooden baseboard, steel binding wire, Vaseline, a little sponge to apply the Vaseline, a ruler, marker, pencil, carving tools, a hot glue gun, and cardboard. Today, we're going to be casting a lemon. Roll out the clay on the baseboard. Trace the outline of the lemon. Carve out a hole to place your object halfway in the clay. Place a wire in the clay between your object and the edge of the clay. Place a chunk of clay formed like a cone at the top of your object for the spout. With the ruler and your cutting tool, Trim the edges of the clay to fit the sides of your box. Mark the clay with key holes around your object. Wrap the cardboard mold box around the clay. Hot glue the cardboard mold box Coat the inside of your mold box with Vaseline. Put your mask on to protect you from the plaster dust. 
Mix the plaster of Paris to water in a ratio of two to one, two parts plaster to one part water. Mix thoroughly with your hands and break up all the dry balls. Pour the plaster in the mold box. Tap out the bubbles. Remove the mold box. Clean up the edges and smooth out the bottom. Gently remove the clay. Be careful not to remove your object. Replace the ventilation wire with your object in the plaster. Hot glue the cardboard mold box around the first side. Coat the inside of your mold box with Vaseline. Mix the plaster and water in a two to one ratio. <laughs> Pour plaster in the mold box. Go dancing. <laughs> Remove the mold box. Gently separate both sides. If they are stuck, use a hammer and nail to tap along the seam. Now you have both sides of your mold. Time to cast. Coat Vaseline all over both sides of your mold from edge to edge and every crevice. Be careful when handling them as the plaster can chip easily. Put the sides of the mold together. Use steel binding wire and pliers to wrap wire around the mold. Twist the ends to tighten the steel binding wire so the mold does not come apart during casting. Follow the instructions for the insulation foam that are on the can. For great stuff insulation foam, place the straw on the nozzle. Shake the can for one minute. Insert the straw inside the spout. Pull the nozzle on the can. Continue pulling the nozzle as you pull the straw out of the mold. You will have an overflow of foam come out the top of the spout. This is a good sign you are filling the entire mold with your material.
go to bed. Wake up and return to the studio. Carefully separate the mold. Try wiggling and rocking both sides before pulling them apart. This will prevent you from tearing the foam. Gently remove the casting, slowly peeling the sides up and out of the mold. Clean up the cast foam object with scissors. The foam object may look shriveled. Squeeze it a few times to get some air inside. Finally, you can paint the cast foam object with acrylic paint to make it look more realistic. Your plaster mold can be used over and over again as long as you are gentle with it and use it correctly every time. That means using plenty of Vaseline on both sides, gently binding and unbinding the steel wire and carefully removing the casting. Other materials you can use in your plaster mold are wax, plastic, cement, clay, and plaster. Wait, what? Plaster and plaster? Yes. If there are other liquid materials that harden through the curing or cooling process, you should totally experiment with those in your plaster mold. Maybe you could use chocolate or soap Now that you have your first cast, foam lemon, what are you gonna do with it? Are you gonna let it be a single colorless lemon with the tone of puke beige for the rest of its unnaturally born life? Or will you make multiples of foam lemon so that you can make lemonade? lemonade this lemonade <laughs> not so juicy maybe this isn't gonna work but you know what could work these are foam lemons how about a trippy centerpiece for your Nana's dining room table Thanks for joining me for tonight's lesson and until next time I'm Miss Molly. Happy casting. Wunderbar. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand
but it won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you at the automat. Men grow cold as girls grow old, and we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these rocks don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Tiffany's.